Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna to talk to you guys about a little market talk video, right? Just kind of a chill market talk day. Talk to you about why the market is going down. Again, yet again, we have the market going down, market crashing, a lot of sell-off before another set of rewards coming out in a few hours with Division Rivals Rewards. And also talk about Team of the Week too because there were some crazy market movements and a lot of people lost coins today on Team of the Week 2 cards. And also I wanna point out kind of the best time that I think you're gonna be able to invest in those cards if that's something that you want to do. So without further ado, let's get into it by first looking at a footbin graph. This is the index gold. On Footbin, you can find this by going up to the market tab, dropping down index gold. And basically what this web page is, it tracks the price of 100 gold players to kind of give you a synopsis of what the whole market is doing at a given time during a given day. And as you can see over the past 24 hours, we had our normal nighttime dip last night, rose up into the morning, kind of peaked around the content drop today. And then we started to drop a lot into the end of the day. And why was this. I want to talk about a few things related to this, but the number one thing is I think people are selling off their teams. They're selling off cards. They're getting their coins liquid. They want those coins back in the top left-hand corner of their screen because they know that they're getting division rivals rewards, either tradable packs or coins. That's what I would take at least. If you haven't opened your rewards yet, that's what I would take from division rivals. It just makes the most sense at this stage of the game because people know that they are going to be getting more coins from rewards later tonight on this game and that has them wanting to sell their cards so that way if they want to reassemble a new team based off something they pack or based off the coins that they get they have that opportunity to do so and that's why you're seeing a lot of market dropping right now i also think that some people who would mess around with team of the week cards today might be just selling a lot of cards to get their stuff liquid and some people who are maybe have been invested in some cards that just really have not risen that well might have taken some losses today as well because Friday is on the horizon and everybody knows that Friday is a big day with a lot of packs being opened with ones to watch cards coming out and stuff like that. So I think all of that is kind of being combined right now into a really, really pretty significant market drop off. Look at this. We were at 91.6 points on the index gold and currently we are at 78.13. The market momentum, usually this says like it updates, but right now the market momentum is definitely trending downward. It is negative. It is low. Uh, and you know, if we look at the daily graph, the market is just getting lower and lower and lower, which makes sense because all these gold cards are getting a lot cheaper across the board, just as they get more supply, um, in terms of the lower rated gold cards, right? Like your 75 to 80 rated cards, you know, like an Alex Teixeira who was once 9k and is now 4k just because he gets more pack supply and less demand as people move up to better cards in the game. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about and why I think we're seeing this market crash right now. But again, rewards are coming right here with Division Rivals in a couple hours. I think that these rewards are still going to boost the market up. Now, the only thing it's if the market does not rise, the only thing that I think I could attribute that to would be people are just scared and they don't want to buy and they want to have their coins liquid because they're scared for Friday with the whole wants to watch promo coming out, packs opened, content, stuff like that. But I don't really get that feeling right now. I really don't get that feeling. I still feel like people are trying to upgrade their teams to get prepared to play more division rivals, to get better at the game so that they can get prepared for the foot champions weekend league, which will come in a couple weeks and people will be, you know, grinding to get the best rank in foot champs they can because people right now are putting time in because FIFA's hot, right? The game just started, right? They're motivated to play, motivated to get better at the game. It's a new game, learning the new mechanics of the game, getting good and just upgrading your team so that you can be better and better and better and have more you know, successful runs in foot champions, division rivals, and squad battles. Um, and that's why I think people still have high motivation right now. And that's why I think the coins that are gonna be put on the market through rivals packs and, or through the coins, whichever one you take um, on rewards tonight, I think that's gonna push the market up in meta areas later today on Thursday. So if you're watching this video and you maybe are watching the market go down, you're watching that index, you're like, yo, I've got some coins. I want to make some coins. What can I do to make some coins? Look at meta cards, right? I have actually a transfer list full of cards right now. Uh, guys like Fabinho, um, Hazard, and other high rated players. Because if you think about it, right, some people that have been playing the game, we some people have been on the game for over a week. If you count the web app and you count EA Access, uh, almost a week actually, not quite a full one, but almost. 
Um, you are seeing that a lot of people right now, you know, they've used Yorente, right? 82 rated card, or, you know, they've used Teixeira. They have used some of the low rated Ake. They've used a lower rated card like Vinicius, like Tamori, like Ndombele. And now they want to upgrade to something bigger and better because they're getting more coins from coin rewards. Uh, of course, division rivals, squad battle rewards. They're trading possibly making coins that way. Uh, and, and that is going to, you know, those lower rated players that people use for starter teams are going to still continue to drop lower and lower and lower as there's less demand for those. And players like a Van Dyke. Uh, or like a, I would even consider, you know, maybe Benzema, Wijnaldum, uh, Pogba, the higher tier Aubameyang, um, Bale, Koulibaly, um, Sancho, Royce, De Jong, players like that that people are trying to continue to upgrade to and a lot of people maybe haven't attained just yet. Um, those are the players that I expect to rise today. So if you're watching, looking at a lot of these cards and looking at a lot of these prices, I mean, look at Bale, right? This is the Bale Real Madrid card. I clicked on the wrong one. But his Spurs card, right? 87,000 coins. He was over 100,000 coins on Monday after squad battles. And he's kind of dropped down since then. And I think this is just people getting ready for the rewards period and getting ready for the weekend. I still think that on meta cards today, you will see a rise on the market. I'm a little bit scared for lower rated cards and, and not as hyped up players. Maybe like a Martins. You know, maybe like a Paulinho. He could drop because he's not meta, right? But if you want to put some coins into stuff tonight, you know, even like a Zaha to me is somebody who they not everybody can afford right away. But look into some of these more exp these players that people are wanting to upgrade with their teams. Where's Hazard, right? I want to show you Eden Hazard because his card, and I'm just going to search him up right now because this is a card that I would fully expect to rise, even though he may not be termed as super duper meta yet. Some people say this card's very good. He was 180,000 coins on Monday. And look at his graph from yesterday. He was 162,000 coins at least. He's already down to 145. Am I expecting a really big kind of bounce back today? Not a huge bounce back, but a card like this, I could very easily see going from 145 back to 160. And there's a lot of players that are in this popular section that are like that, right? Lewandowski is out of packs, for goodness sake. He's in team of the week. He went from 220,000 coins down to 185. He's still chilling there. Alfonso Davies was at like almost 70,000 coins. He's at 62. He's basically unpackable, kind of like Ferland Mendy from last year. Uh, Sancho was at 42K. He is down. De Young was almost to 100K. He is down. So a lot of these cards are just dropping in value because people are selling them. And one reason why I really noted that tonight, and I could really tell that is what was happening, was when I went onto the market and looked at cards, the cards that were popping up at the 59th minute all had chemistry styles on them. And it was all I could just tell. It was everybody selling the cards they had in their club. A really good way to tell when people are selling cards from their club is chemistry styles. A lot of listings at the 59th minute with chemistry styles on them and open bids because open bids like this. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This guy has got a De Young. He's played 33 games, second owner tradable. And he's like, I'm going to get this card out before rewards come so that when I open my rewards in the morning, I'm ready to go and build another team or do something different. He set an open bid price. He's got the chemistry style on it. Like that is when you look at the market, I see so many listings like that. That just tells me people are liquidating to get their coins ready. Now, I do think people will again go back to buy these cards, but that's the only risk. If people don't want to buy cards today and they're trying to stay liquid for whatever reason, or, you know, maybe make some investments like Donnie Vandebeek, right? This guy was 24,000 coins earlier this week as a once to watch card that's going out of packs because he's probably getting an OTW. And right now he's at 18,000 coins. That's honestly pretty crazy compared to where he was at earlier this week. I still feel like, you know, some of this stuff could have been due to people selling their investments. You look at a lot of these cards, second owner tradable. That tells me that somebody invested in this card, third owner tradable, you know, no games played, first owner tradable on that one. But a second owner tradable with no games played, like a card like this tells me somebody invested and they're taking the cash for whatever reason. So I do still think the market ri will rise today. Again, I'll show you my transfer list. I've got a lot of cards that I bought so far um, that I'm going to be trying to flip into the daytime tomorrow, into Thursday. I do think the market will rise for some of these meta players like a Diego Carlos. I've got a Zaha. I've got some Davies. I've got some Van de Beek. 
Those were older ones. Um, I've got some Fabinho's. I'm really, really high on the Fabinho because he's Brazilian. Then that's like a center defensive mid card that you would upgrade from maybe you, you've used somebody who's more of like a 20 or 30K CDM and you're looking to make that next move up to a better player. Fabinho I hear is really good in the game too. So I'm kind of putting a lot of my marbles on him uh, along with some other cards that I had in the transfer list there as well. But I do expect the market to rise today. Until about 6 p.m., we should get a, the uh, marquee matchup set too. And then you might see a little bit of another downward trickle because as we head into Friday, people might start to sell off because they know prices could possibly be dropping on Friday with the ones to watch promo coming out. So the next two days are a little bit tricky in terms of stuff that could get you know hammered with a lot of supply on Friday and stuff that could still rise a little bit into the day on Thursday. But I still feel like we're going to see a market rise in most areas. Some areas are going to probably still go down during Thursday just because they're cards that people don't really want to use anymore. Just kind of have to be careful with what cards you're still messing around with um, in terms of, you know, some of those lower rated cards that are still considered meta and good and usable, but maybe not the best in terms of what people are going to be upgrading to as they can progress inside of FIFA Ultimate Team and get better squads. So let's move on to talking about Team of the Week because this is also something big that happened today. And this is kind of why I think people might be in a selling mood because a lot of people that maybe invested in some of these cards, the gold cards, uh, you know, bought some of these informs today. Now, the man of the day was Alan St. Maximin. And currently on the game, his price is 274,000 coins, I believe. 275k this guy was extinct at 380k so 100k over this value he was extinct at people thought it, i thought it was way too expensive but people thought that since the hype was there and since he was extinct he was going to stay there he needed to update but that is not what happened at all currently there are zero players inside of the team of the week that are extinct so some people lost coins today because i knew people were sniping hollands hernandez and saint maximins um even people were sniping james rodriguez extinct at 30k Ali Watkins was 30K. So if you snipe any of these informs, I honestly would would uh, take the coins on them because uh, this is a one rule of thumb that I always, always operate by. And I learned this in FIFA 19, Team of the Week 5. I remember it to this day. I thought that first day, inform cards were super cheap when that Team of the Week came out. I was like, this, I'm going to invest in these, right? Because they just have to go up. It's too cheap, right? I've made a rule for myself since then because the cards always crash after day one. Never invest in Team of the Week cards on day one because they just don't have the supply, right? They just do not have the supply that the other cards, um, they're, they've only been in packs for like half the day on that day one. They just, they don't rise from there. They always just continue to drop. So of course we have Rivals Rewards that could cause a few of these cards to go up a little bit. There's not a lot of packs being opened, but there are some coins coming to the market. So maybe a guy like Alan St. Maximin. Uh, Lewandowski seems a bit low to me uh, since his gold card was about 200,000 coins and now this inform is 367K. That seems pretty low to me. It could rebound. Um, Holland is pretty interesting that these two are about the same price. This is a sick left back. And the biggest thing I want to tell you guys is this team of the week is really going to get hit with supply on Friday, right? I think the best time to buy basically all of these cards, unless it's a discard investment, might be on Friday during lightning rounds. We're not lightning rounds, but during after 6 p.m. UK, there's not going to be lightning rounds on Friday. I don't know why I said that, but it's going to feel like lightning rounds because people have saved up packs and people wait to open packs until a promo is out. So I think you're going to see a lot of supply for these cards on Friday, 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK as people open packs, open FIFA point packs and saved up packs um, from the start of the game while OTW cards are in the game. And that's going to really just dump a lot of supply on these. If you look at years past, especially last year, Friday was like the cheapest day for a lot of the team of the week two cards. And then they started to rise up after that as people bought them and wanted them for their team. So if you want one of these informs, try to be around on the market at that kind of time frame. Obviously, the ones to watch cards are going to steal the show on Friday and all the other content that comes out. So these kind of guys might fall to the wayside. And especially since people who invested in these today probably don't like this team of the week anymore because they it caused them to lose coins. That might mean that this team of the week could be a better investment opportunity because there's some sick cards in here, right? Teo Hernandez is dope. Sanchez is dope. Holland St. Maximin, Lewandowski. Kane is not bad. This Ali Watkins card is pretty dope. Orsic is a possible super sub. Even James Rodriguez, who could get a once to watch. This inform might only be in packs for two days. If 
James Rodriguez is and wants to watch team one. So that's just kind of stuff to think about. And if you do want to buy any of these for your team, I think I would look at a Friday time frame for one of those buys. But it's honestly just crazy. And I wanted to talk about, again, just the movements of these cards. And one thing we always talk about too is when there's a lot of investing and a card price is dropping, right? Um, this is good practice for when the ones to watch cards actually come out and when there's market movements with those in FIFA, when they do good in game and IRL, this same max is extinct at 380, right? A lot of people were sniping him. They were buying him up, putting him on the transfer list. All of a sudden, right? The seal was broken basically. And people started undercutting and listing and they realized that, hey, there's not enough demand here for this card to sell at 380K where he was extinct. He started dropping, 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 and all those undercuts just keep happening. His price drops lower and lower and lower. Just a bit, about an hour ago, St. Maximin hit 260,000 coins, and he didn't really go any lower. I saw a listing at 258 and 260, and that's kind of the lowest that he went. And then after that, he kind of rebounded back up to 290, and now he's kind of back down to 275. That's what happens a lot with this panic selling because people really don't know how to value this card just yet and they don't know where the demand is exactly going to be, this card could pop back up over 300,000 coins in the morning after Rivals Rewards, or it could stay the same price and just kind of fizzle out and then maybe drop a bit tomorrow on Friday before rebounding later in the week next week. It's just really kind of tough to tell on day one. That's why I don't like investing in informs on day one. But that panic selling after an investment or after a card is extinct, a lot of or after a price range gets updated, a lot of that undercutting, it will reach a bottom point and then it will rebound a little bit. And sometimes you can trade on that rebound and make some coins on a quick flip investment. Now you'll see me do a lot of that with ones to watch cards or with when there's a substitute item, if a Prem center back uh, SPC comes out, I'll watch a card like a Joe Gomez. He'll drop because people do the SPC depending on the price. And then he'll rebound just a little bit because um, you know there's just a certain point where the, the supply and the panic selling is reaches a low and then it kind of turns around and flips a switch and it kind of comes back up. Um, and that's pretty often that happens a lot of different areas inside of FIFA ultimate team. So if you can get that kind of trading scenario down and understand that kind of stuff, that could be a big time moneymaker through you for you throughout the entirety of FIFA ultimate team. So that's kind of all I want to talk about today is just this team of the week is driving people nuts right now. There's a lot of cards that are dropping. The market is going down. And I think it has to do with just people wanting to get their coins liquid, be ready for the next couple of days. I do still think we'll see a market rise. And again, could you be could, could you be a little bit less risky here and not do anything? Yeah, you could sit here with your coins totally liquid and wait until Friday to see what happens. But what's the fun in that? And there's no, you're not gonna make coins if you don't ever spend your coins. And you got you have to take some risk, right? To make coins in this game. So I'm taking a small risk and I'm taking some of you guys along with me, right? I've recommended, hey, some of these really meta higher rated players, because those are the people that I think players are going to want to upgrade their teams with tomorrow if they're going to be buying anything. And I just feel like those still have a chance to rise, but it's kind of like a short window. So I wanted to make sure that I would explain that fully as well so that you could understand that and know what's going on. So a lot of crazy stuff. We also got a kid SBC today. I'm not even going to give that the time of day because we don't like kid SBCs. Boring, but... Anyways, I just wanted to again get this market talk video out and just kind of talk about everything that happened on the market and could again happen in the next day or so. Friday's a big day, and we'll be here to talk about that tomorrow night on the channel as always. If you enjoyed this one, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.